And there are the Mavericks earlier getting set to play. Welcome to Noche Latina here in the NBA. A Latin flavor to the night's festivities as we get ready to go. Hi, everyone. Kevin Arlen here, joined by Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. Our starting lineups will look at the matchups here and who we'll see for our starting five for both teams. First for Los Angeles, Russell is out there with Nick Young. And the big man at the center position, the towering seven foot one Russian Mozgov. And it's Randall in at the four. And for Dallas, J.J. Barea is out there with Devin Harris. And filling in at the center position, the seven footer with a silky touch and the master of the fadeaway jump shot. Dirk Nowitzki, then it's Matthews, and it's Barnes, and at the four spot. Well, since the new CBA, the league has made the luxury tax much more punitive. But certainly the Lakers, blessed with the financial wherewithal to, to be a, a tax-paying team. The problem is it can hurt your flexibility uh, under the new rules just to make deals, and that's going to be the challenge for L.A. Now, here is Russell. Young outside. Russell. Here's Mozgov. Rejected by Nowitzki. Now Harris. Here's the dish to Barnes. Nowitzki kicks to Matthews. That drops and it comes off an assist from Dirk Nowitzki. Matthews has got the first three points tonight for the man. The thing you notice right off the bat from the statistics, just his three-point percentage. I mean, it's a terrific number, and it's a combination of things. Good shot selection, his mechanics are solid, and his movement on the perimeter is outstanding. And something else I think of with him is that three-point shot from the corner. I mean, that's his shot. And we've certainly seen him drain a bunch of them. Now here's Barnes after the miss from Young. And Matthews kicks to Berea. Back to Matthews. Shot clock at six. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Harris knocks down the three ball. Harris has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Well, you talk about the huge fan base for the Lakers, Clark. One of the marquee franchises, certainly in the entire NBA. I would even stretch that to all of sports, Kevin. The market and their finances clearly have helped them gain that stature, but you can't shortchange the organization, the people making the decisions. They've been a winner for a long time, and that's been the magic ingredient that's attracted fans, players, sponsors, the full package. Now Harris, after the miss three from Young. There's 18 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Harris gets the screen from Barnes, and it's Harris off the drive. Matthews kicks it to Berea. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Here's Barnes. Nice D from Randall. What was the defense doing there? I mean, he is not the guy to give an open look to, and yet they got away with it. And that does it for the first quarter. The Mavericks on top, leading by six. And we'll get going after this from the American Airlines Center. And we return to the second quarter, and no Jay Latina. Specialized jerseys on display. Welcome back, everyone. And guys, what's your take so far on the maps? The defense was really impressive there, guys, in that first quarter. They came out focused right from the beginning. And Steve, that's a big part of why they're on top right now. And Doris Burke has something for us. Hey, Doris. Gentlemen, Rick Carlisle is widely considered an outstanding strategist and X and O's coach. But with the turnover on the Mavericks roster the last few seasons, he's tried to keep things as simple as possible for them. He said, quote, my ongoing goal is to call less or no plays if we can. We want our guys to make plays. Kevin? Well, Doris, when you've got that kind of talent and IQ, playing on instant can certainly be effective. And here is Los Angeles now. The Mavericks making the shot. Jordan with Devin Harris covering. And that'll be the Lakers as it goes out of bounds. Lakers retain possession. Yeah. 
125 left to play here in the half. Jordan against Harris. Almost, but it rolls out. I think he shouldn't have forced that one. Instead, he should have passed it off. This last summer, the Mavs asked fans to submit some redesigns of their uniforms for future use. Always kind of neat to see when a team and organization reaches out for the fans' input. Outside Jordan. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. The drive by Russell. Fires from deep. And there's Dane. That's good on the assist by Russell. Dane's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And back to the Mavs. Definitely a big move by them to reach out like that. Nothing like bringing crowdsourcing to the NBA and building a bridge, you know, Steve, with your fan base. You know, Kevin, I had a chance to see some of the designs uh, of the uniforms that were being suggested. Some pretty sharp-looking duds, but there were some other ones that were absolutely hideous. So let's hope the decision-makers in the Mavs organization pick some of the... Uh, Let's say the more clean-looking new uniform suggestions. And here is Barnes. After the three moments ago from New Old Bank. Here's Nowitzki. Ronnie battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Nowitzki's got his first two points. Getting better and better. Got that field goal percentage up in the 60s now. And they've dialed it in here in the second quarter. They are on fire. The drive by Jordan. Rebounded by Devin Harris. Excellent. Really solid job, actually, by the defense to get in his way as he was going up for that one. That's a two from Barnes. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. And so that brings the first half to a close. Mavericks lead by 11. Well, folks, stay tuned for the halftime show with Damon Bruce for all the highlights from our first half. And now... Brought to you by Sprint. Now let's go straight to the Monday Night Halftime Report. The Mavericks are making it look easy so far. They're really working that ball around, doing a nice job keeping the D off balance. There's been some great work out there by Wesley Matthews in this one. Dirk Nowitzki also a big factor for them. And on the other hand, the Lakers are still alive. They'd like to forget that first half. Coach has not been happy with what he's seen out there, and they'll likely come out with major adjustments. Their top scorer, Luau Dang. You can't complain about the way he stepped up. And that'll do it for us here in the studio. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the game. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. Well, we're getting back to the action now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. One of the stories here, Wesley Matthews getting it done today. Play created a lot of opportunities for himself in the first couple of quarters. And I'll tell you what, he, he was smart with his shot-making, too. He really took good ones. You know, points per shot attempted is really one of the undervalued stats in the game. And it's a real measurement of efficient scoring. So much of what ailed the Lakers could be traced to the lack of defensive presence. And it really came to a head when Magic Johnson, one of the greatest Lakers of all time, called them out about looking to play showtime offense while not paying attention to solid defense. And the Lakers with possession here. After Devin Harris hitting the three. Just five to shoot. Here's Ingram. No good with the triple. Mavericks leading by 14. And going back to what Clark said, they didn't actually try to run that much based on tempo, more than what they might have been used to, certainly, Steve. But the D was a concern, a major one. Well, it was really more about teams running wild on them instead of the other way around. You look at the Laker personnel, big front line last year with Howard and Gasol. Uh, the transition defense wasn't quite there. You throw in the injuries. But they were never able to find that balance between good offense and solid defense. And the Lakers have possession. Dirk Nowitzki unable to get his shot to go. There's no getting around the simple fact that that's a shot he has to knock down. Nowitzki lifts up. 
pulls it from the elbow. That doesn't go either for Nowitzki. Lakers trail by 14. Russell dishes to Young. Good, and as this goes to Russell. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. Nowitzki with the screen on Russell. Here's Barnes. And it is the shot to fall after coming off the pick. Barnes has got his second basket of the night. Well, that was Dirk Nowitzki getting in the way of the defense right there. Well done. Up top, Russell, guarded by Berea. Young from outside. Again, Young missing. Here's Berea. That misses. Would have counted had it gone in. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Mavericks ahead, leading by 14. And time for the short break, and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail-biter here, but you never know. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Mavericks. You know, one of the big stories has been the three ball. It's been a key part of their offense throughout the game. And their passing also continues to be outstanding, Clark. In the second half, we were really seeing a good, efficient offense as a result of that ball movement. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And the basket by four. Berea with it. Nowitzki left side. He kicks it to Matthews. Pass to Berea. He feeds it to Harris. And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Well, Kevin, I like his knack for drawing charges. He positions himself extremely well inside at the defensive end of the floor. Yeah, if he's near the basket and sees a player driving the lane, he's really quick to beat him to the spot. There's no flinch, no shuffle, no shying away. He plants those feet and takes it in his chest. Jordan picks to Russell. Back to Jordan. Outside Jordan. Jordan off a bit from Randall. The shot's good from Jordan. But a pick worked really well there. Nice job taking it right to the 10 for the layup. One ten left in the fourth quarter of this one. Now here's Barnes, defended by Randall. Novitsky kicks to Barnes. Pass to Harris. Six on the shot clock. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. For the Lakers, they've really struggled against Harris. He has eight points, and he's knocked down a pair of three-pointers in this game, too. Well, they might want to think about setting a few more screens for him to try to give him another open look or two. Mozgov, he's checked in for the Lakers. Timeout called the Lakers. They trail by 13. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And I think Doris Burke has something for us right now. Doris? Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Lakers coach as he addressed his team. He rallied the troops saying, nobody said it was going to be easy. They're not laying down. They're not going away. If we want this game, we have to take it from them. Kevin, plenty of fire in that speech. And here is Barnes following the free from Ingram. Here's Nowitzki. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over and the Mavericks lead by 12. They certainly haven't let these fans down tonight. It's been a fun night to be in the building. It has been. I mean, the atmosphere's been great, and no doubt that helped with the winning effort. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Gets it to go. Well, this is going to seal the deal. They've really exploded here to the finish line. You know, once they sniffed out that blood in the water, the killer instinct came right out. Now, here's Jordan. Mando passes to Mozgov. Can't hit from in close. Yeah, trying to put a little mustard on the hot dog there. That, that was just convert the shot. Come on. 12 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. 
Boy, that's embarrassing. Guys, he's going to have a hard time living that one down later when they watch it on tape. There's 10 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Gets it down to single digits. Harris with it. Matthews, left side. Let's it fly. Can't connect. And so it's Dallas winning this one. Both teams played well, but these guys had the edge. Yeah, I think so. They were just state knife sharp. Very on top of their game here. Well said. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, Dirk Nowitzki.